Now, this is what I want to see in the fucking fairy tale. I want to see some amazing quality content that we've got. I'm going to be straight honest with you guys. This is, I will be straight honest. This is, no, for me, this is the best episode of fairy tale that we've had all year. Already, I don't care. It's a 10 out of 10. It was absolutely amazing. If none of you guys had tears in your eyes, a little bit of emotion when you saw Lucy screaming as she, what she was now about to do as something the Celestial Spirit King. Like, you have got no heart. Literally, all throughout this episode, you just felt emotion throughout whenever you saw Aquarius and just Lucy just so emotional. And just, holy hell, we just got to get straight into this. So, yeah, Lucy being the only survivor. And, like, you know, we get to see Mikey say, like, oh, it's a one in a billion chance. And to be fair, you know, it would have been, like, cool if it's like, oh, maybe she was, like, you know, a celestial magic, like, brought a cow. Or even she used that thing with, like, the, the clock guy, Horologiums. Um, like, oh, maybe that, like, was the way to protect her. But it's like, even so, that's a sick, a small nitpick. And again, but she's there all alone with a hit list on her saying like any guy that can take her out becomes like a new like ninth like gate for like you know the Tara's members and it's like and the guys that are, who take her out who are currently Tara members you get a personal reward from me and just every single one of this guild is out there on a manhunt trying to get Lucy down she's there summoning everyone Sagittarius she's trying to summon Thurko Loki she's got may I remind you like she's already kind of against like a one of the demon gears already she even tried to go have a little, little quarrel with Jackal like beforehand going against them she literally went against that piece of crap rabbit like Lamy or something her name is Jackal Torafusa not to mention as well, like, just the, the entirety of, like, all the soldiers in the army. It's like, she had, like, about, like, a good dozen people on her trying to fend them off. And then she had these pieces of crap, like, literally just trying to slice her up. And then literally having to summon Aquarius, like, three people at the same time. Like, they were, like Loki and, like, uh, we get seen with Virgo, they were no match at all for, like, dealing with this stuff. No, they couldn't even take, the, like, a couple of hits. They were out already. It was up to Aquarius. And even Aquarius herself was like... I can only hold the, like, jackal back, like, because the, the even greater that, like, Tarafusa went ran away, because he's like, I ain't dealing with this bullshit, like, uh, screw this, he's like, you're gonna torture her, torture her, and when they torture her, blowing her leg like that, trying to blow off, say, oh, that's the next thing to, like, mock her, let's blow off these big tits of hers, like that, and, like, just do what jackal does, and it's like, I know I love people with shitting grins, but it's like, the star was like, no, jackal, you can't get the shitting grin, he, like, blows up Laomi's face, it's like, as much as I just appreciate blowing up that dumb fucking rabbits they saw it's like yeah screw it. that head came completely clean off and when we get to see even more when like aquarius tries to hold back saying i can't hold this back Lucy. i seriously can't like there is one thing you gotta do you gotta summon the celestial spirit king you are ready you can summon three of us that means you can take that toll however you there's one big great price you have to sacrifice one of your golden keys. You have to break the key. Not to mention as well, you have to have a close emotional bond with that person that you get rid of. So I was thinking like, why don't you just get rid of someone that you don't personally like? Why don't you get or someone that you don't really use? Like, you know, Geminis. Like, when the fuck do you ever use them, really? Like, the, like for like the one occasional purpose. Like, I don't know. It's just like, and not to mention, but she does care for all of them. She does really have a huge like bond with her keys. And especially Aquarius, when you get into the flashback, it's like her being all alone as a child, just wanting a friend. And it's just like, you know, I, I despise you ever since, you know, Layla died. And it's like, to tell me to look after you. And she was like, just trying to be a friend. And even like, as we see like later on, like you see like, uh, like Aquarius generally happy for her saying like, you know, you finally got people to talk to. And it's just like, they're like talking. They even make the filler arc like that we just had it was like actually really good and emotional that like, the scenes that they had with her and it was like it was generally just emotional and it was like honestly fantastic that was the best way to describe it and then when you just see lucy screaming like it's just like my god it was so emotional like just points to her voice actress like just absolutely amazing like just reason that all out and then when you see the break the kid just like aquarius crying as well saying we had so much fun like not being able to see each other again, which I feel like we might be able to see them like together again. Maybe there might be one point where she has to actually go to the like the like the celestial like, spirit world again. I would like to see that if that happens at one point. But just holy hell, when you see the celestial spirit king himself comes straight out, speed of light, go Leroy, yeah, like takes the entire building down, just makes it collapse. 
and then he just fucking approaches Mel and Gala. Sup? Like, like the Slash of Spirit King. What a fucking G. Just like straight in, screwing that up. And like Jackal shitting himself. Like, what the fuck do you do? Like, what did you do? I'm only like screaming. And just like, she's not even responding. She's just like screaming, letting it out. Just going, ah. Like that, just letting it out. I'm like, oh, it's just so much. I was tearing up during that stuff. And it was absolutely amazing. I loved it. 10 out of 10. But I, I will still say this is the best episode of Fairy Tale that we've had this year. And this is why I absolutely love the series. And this is like why people like fucking bitch ass haters don't get. It's like that. You, fairy Tale isn't all about like you think, oh, it's all friendship and all that. You know, oh, they do a little power. No, this is what it is. You see some emotional shit with your comrades. You have to give up, sacrifice, blood, sweat and tears, mainly tears. And you see that. You don't, and you don't get emotional if you don't see Lucy and finally her having a badass fight as well. Like, absolutely amazing. Like, God, it's like huge development for Lucy and just like, just a sad, like tragic thing for seeing like Aquarius go and some of the Celestial Spirit Kings just being hype and it's like, I can't wait for next episode. I can't wait. But amazing episode. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. But that is all from me. Everyone. So thank you so much for watching as always and I'll see you guys next time.